Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Okay, there is a, a new problem. <laughs> no, no, it's not a problem, it's just a question. So here is a when limit of a function when x tends to pi. Do you know about pi? Pi in trigonometry we use pi uh, is equal to 180 degrees. Pi means 180 degrees. Okay, pi is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, okay. Now, let's see. Uh, when we put a value of pi or x here, pi, so it becomes sine pi means sine 180, and here is also sine 180. But sine 180 is equal to zero. So when we put sine, right, sine pi or 180, it becomes always equal to zero. You can find it with your calculator. Uh, so when it becomes zero in denominator, so this became undefined. Undefined, so what we do undefined this limit is undefined no 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 here is another matter we if we use trigonometric functions or identities we can simplify this function and find the exact value let's see I will show you how we can do this okay right limit x tends to pi then tan do you know what tan what is tan oh, oh let's see i will show you what is tan tan is equal to in trigonometric equation i have many formulas but i am using this sine x over cos x tan x is equal to sine x over cos x. I'm using this one. Okay, write it here. So, but x is here, sine x. We will not write only x, we will write sine x in the place of x. Okay. Tan. I'm writing again question sine x over sine x okay then <coughs> limit tends to a by sine into sine x sorry n and x over cos sine x and wall over sine x. Okay. And limit x approaches to I we can write it here down its mathematical rule okay so it will become sine x is already here and cos sine x is here okay and limit x tends to pi we can say it tends Two or approaches to not be confused. I am saying both uh, both have same meanings. X tends to pi or n approaches to pi which have same meaning, which same applicable. We can say x tends to pi, x approaches to pi. Mathematically, we use those. Okay. Uh, uh, do you know about sandwich theorem? In my last video, I described this sandwich theorem. I 
few heroes. Okay, sandwich rolls. Sand, 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 sandwich theorem. Okay, brother. Sandwich rolls. Mathematician who says that the limit of a value when uh, sign is here and here we can write it one okay we can write it one so sine x over x what we are saying sine there is variable and it's also variable so we can separate it sine over sine over sine x I'm separating it one over cos sine x dot means of multiply. Okay now limit x tends to y sine these are coming don't disturb me bees yeah i'm doing work both limits dot x tends to y sign x hey bees please don't disturb me so it became one multiplied I become one. We will put values as sine x is pi. So one sine pi is equal to zero. Already we discussed. So we can call zero and one minus. Uh, okay, call zero is one. And one multiply one over one is become one. Oh, so here is our answer. Okay. So guys, what you watch when we are putting value directly in this function, we got undefined. But when we solve it according to trigonometric rules we got answer one so remember this when you <coughs> calculating limit of any function you you must have to think how we can solve it okay you you must have to solve this and uh, then put value of limit then you got a different answer okay but some limits does not exist okay and the uh, rules are not applicable on them so you you have to be use mathematically rules it must be to calculate your answer okay i think this example is helpful for you and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel support me i will create simple videos of mathematics for you and science. Thanks. Bye-bye.